Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who booked readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about who wants to ask you out on a date, okay? So pile number one, you're going to be the Rose Crows Crystal. Pile number two, you're going to be the uh, Green Adventuring Crystal. Pile number three, you're going to be the Amethyst Crystal, okay? So pause this video if you must and meditate on the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamp in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pal One, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So Pal Number One, you picked the Rose Crows Crystal. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So pile number one, starting from left to right, we have the Lightseer Tarot. The one in the middle is the Romance Angel Oracle deck. Okay, and the one on the far right is the Everyday Witch Tarot, okay? So we're going to smudge these bad boys and we're going to find out who wants to ask you out on a date. Who wants to ask pal number one out on a date? Okay, who wants to ask pal number one on a date? Okay, pal number one, who wants to ask you out on a date? Who wants to ask you out on a date, pal number one? Too many cards here. Who wants to ask you out on a date? We have the Page of Swords. This person's watching you. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Um, who wants to ask you out on a date? So this person's already watching you, okay? They have their eyes on you. We have the Hangman. And we have the Strength. So this person could be a Leo. I'm getting Leo and Pisces, okay? So these are the two energies that I'm getting. So definitely like Leo with the strength here. And then with the hangman, I'm, I don't know why I'm just getting Pisces energy with the hangman, okay? So this person is definitely watching you. With the Ten of Pentacles, this person could have a child or children. I'm not getting that this person is married, but I feel like they may have some sort of responsibilities. Also, they could be financially stable with the Ten of Pentacles, but they juggle a lot with the Two of Pentacles. So this is why I think that this person may have a child or have children, okay? More than one child for some of you, or in some of you, it's just one, okay? But this person's watching you definitely with the Page of Swords here. So this person is confident with the strength here, but I feel like they're hesitant to come towards you with the Hangman. They're confident in themselves. I feel like this person is well established in their life. They're financially stable. Um, like they have a good career. They are, I'm getting with the strength here. This person is like respected in their community. They've been through a lot of, a lot in their life too. But maybe because they have a child. Yeah, Queen of Swords. This person is very intelligent, okay? Queen of Swords. Um, they may come off distant or like on guard or aloof, but really it's because like, you know, they've been through a lot in their life. So they're very cal like not calculative, but, um, they're very careful, cautious before they make a move with the hangman. Okay. Yeah. Nine of cups. Ooh. This person has everything going on for themselves with the Nine of Cups. Four of Wands. Ooh, this is good. Yeah, this person could be an air sign. 
or have air in their chart with the queen of swords but i'm getting like this this is really strong okay nine of cups i'm getting wish fulfillment this is somebody that you would love to go out with okay four of wands they could be like an instant connection when you meet this person like they're already watching you they already have their eyes on you yeah we have the knight of wands okay wanted to come out in reverse but the knight of wands is like um you know player energy in and out like uh somebody who looks good that just wants to have like one night stand and stuff like that but i'm not getting that i'm getting like this person may be just exciting have a youthful energy i'm getting like you see the six of pentacles is here this person is generous and this is like kind of like similar to Leo energy because Leo is like a generous sign. Okay. They're like very giving when they love you, they give a lot. Okay. So this person is definitely generous with the, we have the three of pentacles. This could be somebody that you work with <laughs> with the three of pentacles. This is why they're watching you because it's somebody that, you know, Maybe you, maybe you, you know, maybe you like this person too. Or maybe you think they're, they're hot. Okay. So we have the page of wands. Mm -hmm. This person is exciting. Like when it comes to their feelings, I feel like they're the queen of swords. They are more, they keep their composure. They don't really show their hand, but they have a lot of love. Like they're very warm on the inside. Okay. Once you get to know this person on a deeper level, I feel like this person's warm on the inside. Okay. Very childlike with the knight of wands and the page of wands. I don't feel like player. I feel like just somebody who likes to go on adventures, who likes, um, I heard hiking, stuff like that. This person's just like, um, adventurous extrovert person. Okay. But when it comes to their feelings, they're more introvert. They don't really show their feelings. But when it comes to, you know, um, like I'm getting like when it comes to work or when it comes to a project where it involves other people, like they show that side of their personality. They don't really show their emotions. They just show like more their passion when it comes to things that they like. Yeah, we have the fool here. This is um, Aries energy. This person is like a risk taker with the fool here. When it comes to like, I'm getting like, when it comes to following their dreams, when it comes to like, you know, after going after their, their goals, this is why I, I get the 10 of pentacles. This person is financially stable. Like they have money in the bank. Who wants to ask my pal number one out on a date very soon. Ooh, this <laughs> <laughs> very soon clearly decide what you want so that it could it comes to you now this person may make a move very soon ooh, 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 pile number one who is this okay who wants to ask my pile number one love yourself first it is safe for you to love as well okay so love yourself first your self-respect makes you romantically attractive so this person finds you very romantically attractive because like you possess like self-confidence you love yourself the way you present yourself it's like this person loves this okay and then it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so this person i feel like they've been hurt before maybe this is the reason why the hangman is here okay so let's just clarify those three cards with um, the Everyday Witch Tarot. So very soon, Spirit, can you clarify? Ooh, Six of Wands. This is going to be victorious. You see Six of Wands? This is like this person is going to be romantic. Okay. We, this, we have the Six of Swords. I'm feeling like this person is leaving something behind and coming towards you. So maybe this is why they're like waiting with the hangman. Okay, love yourself first, Spirit. Can you clarify love yourself first? We have the Five of Swords. Okay, Five of Swords. And we have, what do we have here? We have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so Five of Swords is all about conflict. It's all about, like, you know, misunderstanding as well, but also um, greed and like, also somebody being bad mind as well right five of swords is somebody like you know that talks slick out of their mouth they say bad things as well but i'm getting with the king of pentacles whew, there is someone else love yourself first 
Okay, so what is the Five of Swords spirit? Because now the Five of Swords is like throwing me off. What is the Five of Swords? Oh, oh now you don't want to say? <laughs> okay, so we see Ace of Swords is some truth. But the Hermit here. And Hermit is all about, you know, keeping things in, yeah, in the... With the moon here, this is like something being in the shadows. And the hermit is also being in the shadows. Because 9 and 18 is, you know, 9 times 2 is 18. So it's like the same number in the same energy. And this is Pisces energy, Virgo energy. And Virgo and Pisces are the opposite signs of each other. Um, so I'm getting like, there is something like in secret. Okay, there was like some sort of misunderstanding with the Five of Swords here. I'm really getting that. And some truth came out. Some sort of truth came out. And they're saying to love yourself first. Some sort of like misunderstanding here. Maybe with this king of pentacles. This hermit. This Virgo. Because king of pentacles is also earth element, right? And Virgo is an earth sign. So I'm getting like there is some sort of like misunderstanding here. Maybe there was like some sort of conflict with this person. And then you put your foot down. Because I'm getting like this person's kind of hesitant, okay? And it's saying it's safe for you to love. Spirit, what is safe for you to love? What is safe for you to love? Oh, see, Queen of Pentacles, divine counterpart. Okay, so this person sees you as like their counterpart, but you guys may have had like some misunderstanding with this person. Some, some argument or some truth came to light and then... You stop talking to this person with the hermit, okay? And then secretly this person wants to communicate with you and they want to come forward. Maybe they may want to apologize as well. Because the queen of pentacles is like the, their divine counterpart, right? We have the death here, something to put to rest, Scorpio energy. So you could be a Scorpio, this person could be a Scorpio. We have the world here. A cycle has ended. Something has ended and something else is starting. I feel like, yes, you may have had some sort of like misunderstanding with this person. With the temperance here, I'm getting this person wants to cooperate with you or collaborate with you, okay? They want to make amends with you because I feel like this is somebody that you had some sort of um, ver maybe a verbal exchange that was not too pleasant with the Five of Swords. Like there was some sort of like misunderstanding with this person. And maybe this is the reason why like they want to come towards you and ask you out on a date because I feel like they have feelings for you. Because I'm getting like, yeah, this person is very generous and they see you as their counterpart. So I think like you guys came, um, start off on the wrong foot and this person wants to, you know, break the ice or start a new leaf with you by asking you out on a date and i feel like it's going to be friendly at first it's not going to be um like romantic this person is going to be very um like i'm getting like this person is going to be very what's the word like a gentleman or a gentlewoman but not that's not the word that i'm looking for it's going to be respectful. This person is going to be respectful. They're going to respect your boundaries. Okay, whatever you're not comfortable doing, this person is not going to overstep their boundaries. They're not going to do that. They're going to be very respectful, I'm getting. Okay? Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they want to come forward and ask you out on a date. And I feel like it's genuine. Like, their feelings for you and how they're going to come and approach you is going to be genuine. Like, you're going to feel it. That this person is not trying to play you or trying to, like, you know, run games on you. They really want to sincerely ask you out on a date get to know you a little bit better and like break the ice because you guys start off on the wrong foot and now they don't want you to have like the wrong impression of them okay this is what i'm getting like, this person doesn't want you to have the wrong impression and they want to like you know make amends as well so they're watching you make taking the for the right time to, to come and talk to you yeah i'm really getting like there was some sort of miscommunication especially with the five of swords Okay, this person wants to come towards you and ask you out on a date and it's genuine with the eight, the Knight of Cups. Okay, it's a genuine offer. It's nothing, I'm not getting nothing sexual. This person is very uh, respectful. I'm getting with the King of Pentacles. Okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye.
Hi Bell2, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So pile number two, you picked the green adventuring crystal. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, a welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So pal number two. Starting from left to right, we have the Lightseer Tarot. The one in the middle is the Romance Angel Oracle deck. And then the one on the far right is the Everyday uh, Witch Tarot, okay? So who wants to ask you out on a date? Pal number two. Who wants to ask you out on a date? So who wants to ask you out on a date? Pal number two. Who wants to ask you out on a date? That's too many cards. Who wants to ask you out? We have the Fool, so this person could be an Aries. Who wants to ask you out on a date? We have the Five of Pentacles, but it's in reverse. Who wants to ask you out on a date? Okay, so we have the Devil in reverse. So this person could be Capricorn or a Pisces with the Moon here. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I'm getting this as somebody who's strong, who overcame some sort of obstacle, like financial obstacles and addiction here, with the devil being in reverse. They came out of, like, they did the dark night of the soul, okay? This person has come out of, like, some tough situation in their life, okay, with the devil. This person could be a Capricorn or Pisces or an Aries, okay? Five of Pentacles, I'm getting like this is somebody who was like in some sort of poverty. They were in poverty before. The wheel has turned in their favor. This person now is doing well. But this is somebody who struggled a lot in life. Okay, you wouldn't know with the moon here. Like, because this person does not look like what they've been through. Okay, this is like a soldier. I'm really getting somebody who's strong. Okay, with the fool here, this person is always optimistic. They always look at the bright side of life. And yeah, Queen of Cups, this person could be, uh, yeah, definitely a Pisces with the Queen of Cups and the Moon here. This person is highly intuitive. Okay, so this is somebody who is spiritual as well. We, the hangman, they have like, they're enlightened. They have a different perspective of life. And they, because they went through a lot in life, like they're very observant. So they know how to watch people. They have, um, they know really well about body language. I feel like some of them, they used to be like in the army. I'm getting like somebody who was in the army before. Yeah. Unexpected. This is the tower. Okay. It will be a surprise to you who this person is with the tower here, okay? And I feel like this person is handsome with the devil. Like, they're really good looking. Um, they're seductive as well. I'm getting the vibe that this person is very alluring, okay? With the devil being in reverse in the moon. But I feel like they're not devilish because the devil is in reverse. So they have overcome their darkness. They have overcome their dark side. So they're not somebody that's going to use their looks to get what they want okay they know that they're good looking but they don't abuse their power i'm really getting like somebody who's alluring exotic i heard okay this person is exotic yeah this person could definitely be in uh, capricorn with the queen of pentacles but i'm getting like they both they may be like a capricorn sun and then a pisces moon or vice versa okay because i'm getting like the, these are the two elements so they have a good balance of earth and water so highly intuitive and they know how to make money they're grounded okay this is somebody that could like you know they could lose it all all today and then get it get it back tomorrow okay this is the type of person i'm getting here and they're very in tune in tune with their feelings in tune with uh, nature this is somebody who's balanced who wants to ask my pal number two out on a date spirit we have the three of wands but it's in reverse. That's like lack of foresight. 
they're holding back with the four of pentacles okay they're not too sure how to approach with the temperance here it's in reverse so temperance in reverse is like not cooperative this is like somebody who also is feisty this could be like they may have a temper with the temperance being in reverse because you know when it's upright this is somebody who's tempered who is more calm cool and collected but in reverse it could be somebody who is more feisty or has a temper you know but they're holding back with the seven uh, uh with the sorry the three of wands this is like a lack of foresight yeah for uh we have the page of pentacles so i'm getting that i feel like the reason why they're holding back from asking you out on a date is because maybe they feel like their offer is not big enough for the page of pentacles maybe what they have to offer is not much because like i said this person had to overcome some sort of financial loss yeah give your relationship a chance work on your partnership who wants to ask you out I'll ask my pal number two out on a date. i'm going to clarify reconciliation and trust oh oh, oh. It could be an ex because give your relationship a chance work on your partnership reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life maybe it could be an ex that overcame some sort of addiction and we have trust this situation is calling you to have faith yeah i feel like some of you it's an ex Maybe they're maybe this is why temperance is in reverse because they're scared that you may not want to cooperate with them and they may feel like they're offering what they have to offer you is not much. Yeah, pal number two, this is somebody from your past. Yeah, this is an ex that had to overcome some sort of like addiction or something like that. What does give your relationship a chance? What does give your relationship a chance, spirit? Yeah, six of sword. This is somebody that you walked away from. Somebody from your past that you had to move away from. Okay? And now they're scared that you may... Like, this is why they have a lack of foresight because they don't know how to approach you. This is why they're holding back with the four of pentacles. Because the temperance is in reverse. So they feel like you're not going to cooperate with them. Yeah, ten of swords. Yeah. Somebody who betrayed you. Or maybe their addiction is what got in the way of this connection. But it's saying give your relationship a chance. So maybe this person wants to come back in good faith and they, they've changed. I feel like this person really did change because the devil is in reverse. They're not in their devilish ways anymore and they want to reconcile with you. Yeah, they're coming forward with a chariot here. Like really, with the chariot, what I'm getting, they have strong will now. Like they are able to control their anger, they control their devilish ways. They've come out of the five of pentacles, so they're no longer in lack. I feel like this person actually healed from like anything that they went through in the past or they went to therapy. They did something to change. I'm really getting like the energy they've changed. And this is why I'm getting like the tower. It's unexpected. You wouldn't expect this person to want to come back. Or two want to reconcile because I feel like whatever the yeah you see three of cups this is reconciliation as well it's another card for reconciliation this person definitely wants to reconcile but they're hesitant with the hangman here they feel like maybe with a ten of swords like you may not want to take them back because of what they did yeah they're hoping that the wheel will change in their favor with the wheel of fortune but I'm getting like this is somebody that has changed is not somebody who is still in the same energy what is trust spirit can you uh, clarify trust yeah you see we have the moon and we have the five of swords okay so with the moon and five of swords here i'm getting like there's some sort of conflict or there's some sort of like i feel like there's some people in the background that don't want this person to come towards you okay i feel like they're fighting other people to come back to you some people are letting are telling this person not to go towards you that you're not like worth it i'm getting here with the five of swords and the moon it's like in secret but this person is planning on coming towards you with the three of wands they want to give it another shot they trust that this is going to work well at the end of the day it's up to you because you're the one that's going to decide whether or not you want to keep this person yeah they want to reconcile with the temperance here they want to work it out with you yeah they want to be victorious with the six of wands they want to be victorious with you with the temperance here, yeah, they want to have things balanced with you. This is somebody from your past that wants to ask you out on a date. 
okay they want to come back but it's up to you if you're going to take them yeah ace of wands this is a yes card this person is like a passion about you the yeah they see you as wish fulfillment with the nine of cups but we have the ten of cups oh yeah this is definitely somebody that you were together for a while with the ten of cups it could have been like you know a long time but this person sees you as the nine of cups they see you as the wish fulfillment this is why they're fighting for you i feel like this person is willing to fight for you this is why the temperance is in reverse like they don't care like i feel like they're they have a feisty um a hot temper as well okay yeah four of wands yeah they're in regret with the five of cups four, four of wands they see you as their soulmate and they're in regret they they regret what they did whatever happened between the two of you this person regrets it okay this person wants you to give them a second chance that's what they want to reconcile they want you to give there yeah, you see give your relationship a chance and this is why they want to ask you out on a date like they want to date you again and you know like i'm getting like this uh sarani song it's a, a, a reggae song a romance yeah sarani okay that's the name of the um artist it's a jamaican artist so this person wants to romance you again yeah we have the seven of wands he doesn't want you or she doesn't want you to be defensive towards them they want you to lower your guards to hear them out again you know to hear them out that they actually change like as you could see the devil's in reverse so this person i'm really getting that this person has changed um they're willing to take a leap of faith towards you with the fool but they're a little bit hesitant because they don't know how you're going to take it because of the ten of swords like the heartbreak that you went through with this person that you walked away from okay you have to move away from them with the chariot but this person is has a strong will they're going they're going to want to fight for you they will fight for you okay this is what i'm getting this is somebody that's going to fight for you yeah we have magician here they're trying to manifest you back this person wants to manifest you back in their world yeah page of wands they're hoping okay they're hoping that it's going to be fruitful manifesting you back so who wants to take ask my pal number two on a date we have the king of swords yeah this person is planning okay they're gonna they want to have they want to come with the truth with the king of swords they want to come with the facts of what ha really happened if this person did something behind your back they want to come true they come they want to come clean basically but they they're hoping that you give them a chance okay so that's all i have for you my pal number two i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number two bye, bye. hi pal three welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so pal number three you picked the amethyst crystal so this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is i like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings okay so my pal number three starting from left to right we have the light seer tarot the one in the middle is the um, Romance Angel Oracle deck. And the one on the far right is the Everyday Witch Tarot. Okay? So who wants to ask you out on a date? Who wants to ask you out on a date? Who wants to ask you out on a date? My pal number three. Who wants to ask you out on a date? We have the Page of Swords. Oh. We have the Moon. The Hermit. This person could be a Virgo. Or you could be the Virgo or Pisces. Or they could have both. Like be Virgo, Moon, Pisces, Sun or vice versa. 
who wants to ask you out on a date page of pentacles and what do we have the knight of cups so definitely they want to come towards you forward with a offer but it's like they're gonna start with something small okay with the page of swords i feel like this person watches you on social media okay this is somebody i heard entourage you may not know this person personally like you know know them like your close friend or whatever but this is somebody that knows somebody that knows you okay like six degrees of separation i'm getting okay this is like in secret like a secret admirer with the moon here this is somebody that's like an introvert okay they keep to themselves with the hermit energy virgo energy this person keeps to themselves they don't really talk to a lot of people you may have like mutual friends um with this person but the mutual friends that you guys have are like similar to this person they like you know quiet they keep to themselves like their circle's really small too okay and like their offer is going to be like something stable with the pent page of pentacles but it's not gonna be much like this person wants to ask you out on a date to get to know you okay they don't want to it's not somebody who likes to rush things yeah they're patient with the seven of pentacles yeah this is not somebody who likes to rush things they like to take their time they like to you know before they ask somebody out on a date they like to watch them so this is why we have the page of swords like they study people before they make their move we have the four swords in reverse so four swords in reverse it's like you know not putting things to rest so i feel like this person's been watching you for a long time and i feel like they're hesitant a little bit to come towards you but they're gonna make their move okay this is not somebody who rushes things we have justice here okay so i'm going to take justice libra energy so this person could be libra virgo cusp or a leo virgo cusp okay with the strength here this person has a lot of inner strength this person could also be in a legal field with the justice here we have the ace of wands they're very attracted to you sexually though with the ace of wands this is somebody who is um, they see you as very sexually attractive. Not only that, they think that you're very sexy, very alluring. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, they have feelings for you too. Because I feel like they ask about you to their, their mutual friends, whoever you guys know in common, they ask about you. And this is why they're spying on you. This person could definitely be a Libra with the Queen of Swords. Okay, very smart, intelligent. Um, this person, I'm, I'm like very observant. You see how the Queen of Swords is observing far away and the and the bird here yeah this person pays attention to details uh with the virgo energy as well this person pays a lot of attention to details and they like to like i'm really getting somebody who likes to watch first before they make their move yeah with the hangman they take their time they're patient okay they're a patient lover patient person and i feel like they're handsome too with the king of wands they're very good looking but they just like they're not like somebody who is a show off i'm not getting a show off vibe this is somebody who knows that they're like they're confident in their skills they're confident in who they are but they're patient as well they don't like to rush things they like to pay attention to details um and they also like to i'm getting like somebody who likes to take their time when they make a decision they're not quick to make a decision and they're loyal too with the seven of pentacles there is somebody who likes to wait and if they go out with somebody they want to make sure that this person is worth their time because their time to them is valuable they don't waste like they don't waste their time on on frivolous things okay wow this person has romantic feelings for you not just like this is why they've been watching you for a minute your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, they have real feelings for you. This is what I'm saying. This is somebody who takes their time with things. They don't rush things. And when they have feelings for somebody, it's real. And we have the Ace of Cups. This is another like real romantic feelings. What do we have? Wow. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. So this person feels like they've known each other, known you bef from before. And then it says here, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this person feels like they're they're being guided to you. Like they've known you in their past life. You know, they have romantic feelings for you. So like I said, this is somebody that knows you from 
a group of friends or you guys have mutual friends together okay like uh, mutual friends among each other okay this is what i'm getting this is not somebody that's brand new it's like a familiar face with the past life uh relationship this person feels like they've known you for a past life and so this is why the connection that they have like those romantic feelings that they have for you is like strong can you clarify romantic feelings spirit wow king of pentacles definitely virgo energy this is solid energy okay truthful energy we have the five of cups okay so this person is like I feel like this is the reason why they take their time because they've been hurt before and they don't want to be hurt and the devil came out and they came out in reverse so i feel like yeah they've been through some hardship in their life and they've been through some toxic relationship yeah they've been breadcrumbed with the page of pentacles this person's been breadcrumbed before so this is the reason why they take their time this is the reason why they've been watching you for a while just to make sure that you are who they think that you are and i feel like they believe that this is who you are whatever they've like the information that they've gathered on you with the page of sword this is somebody who's gathering information somebody who is curious who is like investigating okay so this person has investigated you this person has been watching you for a minute and like it's done in the dark okay because we have the moon here you didn't even know that this person's been watching you okay they may seem like when you guys may meet around friends they may seem like uninterested in you but they were okay so they're just they were just fronting that's what i'm getting here this person was just fronting about like their feelings for you or how they felt about you and now they want to come forward they want to ask you out on a date but with the five of of cups this person's been heartbroken before yeah definitely been heartbroken yeah with the wheel on top of past life lover they feel like this is the right moment to ask you out i'm getting eight of pentacles wow this person is like dedicated so let's say if you were to like allow this person to take you out on a date i feel like they will impress you with the eight of pentacles they're going to put a lot of effort into it you see make the effort this person is willing to put in the effort into this relationship or this friendship because i feel like they want to start small with the page of pentacles they don't want to rush into things like i said they take their time this person really takes their time wow the lovers <laughs> past life relationship this person feels like there is a strong connection between the twin the, the twin the two of you I'm, I'm trying to say twin flame but they feel like there's a connection between the two of you with the lovers here definitely this person could be a Gemini or you're the Gemini here, but this person has a strong attraction towards you. They made a judgment that this is you. This is why they want to come forward. I really hope this person takes like has the guts to come forward because I feel like they're a little bit hesitant. Yeah, they see you as wish fulfillment. This is why they want to make the effort. You are everything that they wish for in a partner. Okay, this is why they've been watching you for a while yeah with the temperance here they've been watching you for a while with the temperance they've been patient like i said this person is very patient calm cool and collected okay this person does not really show their hand they don't really show their their emotions okay they're more on the quiet side they're an introvert i'm getting this person's very a real introvert okay yeah the empress because they see you as the empress their lover their true love this is like I me mean, i'm just talking about date this person's about like this person's already far this person's in love there's not just like a date and the reason why is because they've been gathering information on you and they've been watching you for a while and i feel like when this person falls in love they fall in love really deeply okay and once they fall in love it's like for them it's like they don't see anybody else so this is the reason why they're a little bit like i feel like they were watching you for a while and they've been patiently waiting with the seven of pentacles okay because this person's been heartbroken like i feel like when they get heartbroken they get devastated and they like i feel like they get into the devil energy where they get um trapped in their thoughts they become like they use other substances to get away from the feeling okay they like to escape their the feeling of hurt so this is re the reason why i feel like this person has been single for a while too with the page of wands yeah they see you as exciting they're very attracted to you but not just sexually attracted but like physically attracted you know like not physically sorry uh, mentally attracted to you like your mind too it's not just your body 
okay they find you attractive beautiful with the empress here very exciting like they see you as somebody that they could spend the rest of their life with this is what i'm getting here and they want to make the effort to come towards you because i feel like this person also is a little bit shy on the shy side you know they don't really like to make the move but they're willing to make the move yeah eight of cups walking away yeah they're scared that you may walk away or not want to have nothing to do with them we have the knight of pentacles but it's in reverse it's like not moving forward yeah i'm getting like this person's scared because you're attractive like i said this person finds you sexually attractive beautiful handsome whatever it is they find you attractive really good looking so this is why they're hesitant with the knight of pentacles okay the Knight of Pentacles is in, is in reverse and the Eight of Cups is there. So Eight of Cups is like walking away, you know, being scared. It's also like leaving something behind, you know, that like I'm really getting like this person is like they don't like that feeling of being let down. So they rather walk away before they get hurt. OK, so this is the reason why this person is taking their time, but they want to come towards you. And I feel like their offer will be like genuine. OK, it's not going to be fake once they make the effort to come towards you okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye